Okay, good morning to all of you. In our last two classes, we have been discussed orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system. In detail, we have been discussed. Okay, and we found these important results, which will be required for other derivations. In this class, we are going to discuss gradient in terms of orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. Okay, so let's start. as we have been discussed previously that this space where both curve curvature coordinate or curvilinear coordinate and cartesian coordinate are coupled with each other that is called as your occ or orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system where you can see that the at least three surfaces are intersect with each other which will define entire a uh, space in 3d okay now in this occ we are going to consider a scalar point function scalar point function that is your phi which is the function of u v and w to to find out the gradient of this scalar function so as we know that gradient means it has to be del dot phi that means gradient of a scalar function so here we have been defined a scalar point function phi in orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system which is the function of u v and w right here same thing it has been written that uh, let us consider a scalar point function phi u v in orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system or in sort occ s here u v w r cores intersect at a point and e1 cap e2 cap and e3 cap are unit vectors along tangents to cores these unit vectors are mutually orthogonal with each other at intersect point whatever we have been discussed in our last class now gradient of scalar scalar point function phi will be written as will be written as this one del phi u v w will be equal to phi 1 e1 cap phi 2 e2 cap phi 3 e3 cap here phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 are unknown parameters or unknown quantities what are to be determined how here see previously we have discussed that u v w and x y z both are coupled with each other that we have been discussed uh, in our last class so hence position vector is also function of u v w c he c here u v w that means curvilinear coordinates coupled with cartesian and cartesian also coupled with curvilinear so hence position vector also function of u v w right so here you can see this is the position vector right from this origin to this point this is the position vector which is nothing but i cap x j cap y k cap z in your cartesian coordinate system as x y z coupled with u v w so r can be written as in this format that is your function of u v w okay because here x is the function of both u v w y of function of u v w z also function of u v w so hence r is the function of u v w or you can say r depends upon this curve curve this curve or this curve and this curve okay so we can write r which is the function of u v w now we have to consider the total derivative of r this will be how much here dr is the total derivative will be del r by del u into du plus del r by del v into dv del r by del w into dw so that implies dr will be equal to here you can see that del r by del u we found that is that is your h1 e1 cap previously here you can see 
डेल आर बाय डेल यू इज नथिंग बट एच वन ई वन कैप डेल आर बाय डेल वी एच टू ई टू कैप डेल आर बाय डेल डब्ल्यू एच थ्री ई थ्री कैप वी हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट दीज वैल्यूज ओवर हियर इन प्लेस ऑफ डेल आर बाय डेल वी वी हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट एच टू ई टू कैप डेल आर बाय डेल डब्ल्यू इज सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय एच थ्री ई थ्री कैप ओके लेट दिस इज योर इक्वेशन नंबर टू and this one was your equation number 1 now we have to consider del phi dot dr so here del phi we found this much phi 1 u1 cap plus phi 2 e2 cap plus phi 3 e3 cap now we have to consider the dot product of this one this vector with dr del phi dot dr that means this value is going to be dot product with this one okay dot product means that means in case of dot product only e1 cap dot e1 cap will be one and others will be zero because these unit vectors are orthonormal normal with each other so here you can see that whenever we are going to consider this one del phi dot dr here e1 cap e1 cap is there so this term is going to be dot product with this term and we are going to get phi1 h1 du you can see here phi1 is there here h1 is there so this term and this term when dot product with each other you can see e1 cap dot e1 cap will be one right so we can get phi1 h1 du likewise this term when dot product with this one we can get phi2 h2 dv because e2 cap dot e2 cap will be one here e3 cap e3 cap will be one e3 cap dot e3 cap will be one so we found phi3 h3 dw or dw okay so let this is your equation number 3 now this del phi dot dr can be evaluate in either way here i have been written now by either way the the del phi dot dr can be evaluated how see as it is known that dr when r is the function of x y z that means in your cartesian coordinate system that can be represented as i cap dx j cap dy k cap dz that we know in your cartesian coordinate system dr can be represented by this one likewise in our occs orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system dr how it will be represent see in case of orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system i cap will be replaced by one unit vector that will be tangential to any one of the curve uh let it is your for u for your u curve it will be e1 cap right so instead of x y z here u v w and here instead of x here you can see for dx is followed by i cap dy followed by j cap uh, and dz followed by k cap likewise du has to be followed by e1 cap if we are going to consider r is in your occs if uh, position uh, vector r is in occs orthogonal columnar coordinate system then dr will be e1 cap du as here i cap dx here e1 cap du e2 cap dv e3 cap dw here e1 cap e2 cap e3 cap are unit vectors for u curve v curve and w curve respectively right already we have been discussed many times these things right here you can see that for u curve e1 cap is the unit vector for v curve e2 cap for w e3 cap is the unit vector which is along the tangential 
this is the along the tangential this is also along the tangential to the uh, curve w this is along the tangential to the curve v okay so here dr can, dr when it is in the curved linear coordinate system if we are going to consider then it it can be represented as e1 cap du e2 cap db e3 cap dw right now d phi when phi is in uvw it can be represented by e1 cap d phi by du e2 cap d phi by dv e3 cap d phi by dw as if we are con consider phi is in your cartesian coordinate system here you can see if phi is in your cartesian coordinate system then del phi when the del operator is going to be operate on this phi then it will be i cap del phi by del x j cap del phi by del y k cap del phi by del z so here x and its corresponding unit vector i cap so when phi will be function of u v w then here the curve and its corresponding unit vector see here this is the x corresponding unit vector or you can say x component or x coordinate corresponding unit vector y chord coordinate uh, uh, coordinate axis y coordinate axis corresponding unit vector z coordinate axis co corresponding unit vector as like here we can write curve u its corresponding unit vector curve v corresponding unit vector curve w corresponding unit vector so as del phi here can be represented in your cartesian coordinate system similarly in orthogonal curve linear coordinate system del phi here you can see del phi in your occ is it can be represented by e1 cap del phi by del w e2 cap del phi by del v e3 cap del phi by del w right now we have to consider the dot product of this and this here del phi dot dr we found this much this is your equation number 3 now we are going to consider del phi dot dr this two what we can get get see e1 cap dot e1 cap will be one so we can get del phi by del u into du del phi by del v into dv plus del phi by del w into dw if same thing it has been written that therefore del phi dot dr will be del phi by del u into du as i told here this this is going to be dot product that means e2 cap dot e2 cap will be one so del phi by del v into dv and this one will be del phi by del w into uh, dw same thing it has been written that del phi by del v dv plus del phi by del w d dw let this is your equation number 5 now we are going to compare equation number 3 and equation number 5 here equation number 5 represents del phi dot dr this much and equation number 3 is represents the same del phi dot dr is this much equation number 3 now both the lhs are same right so if we are going to compare the equation number 5 and 3 both the lhs are same here del phi dot dr here also del phi dot dr so obviously the rhs will be same that means this value will be equal to this much if it is so then each and every term here you can see del phi by del u into du here phi h1 du so du and du both are same so obviously del phi by del u will be equal to how much phi h1 likewise phi h2 will be how much del phi by del v likewise del phi by del w will be how much phi h3 right uh, sorry phi 3 h3 okay so same thing it has been written over here now comparing 3 and 5 we get phi 1 h1 is your del phi by del u therefore phi 1 will be 1 by h1 del phi by del u okay uh, and phi 2 h2 equal to del phi by del v therefore phi 2 will be equal to 1 by h2 del phi by del u del v from this it has been uh, evaluated right here phi 2 h2 will be divided this side 
so likewise phi 3 h3 will be del phi by del w therefore phi 3 will be 1 by h3 del phi by del w so initially we intend to find out phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 and here we got the values of phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 now we are going to substitute phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 in equation number 1 what we can get the equation number 1 is your origin first equation okay so here instead of phi 1 what we can substitute we can substitute 1 by h1 del phi by del u okay so 1 by h1 del phi by del u into e1 cap already is g here phi 2 e2 cap phi 3 e3 cap so instead of phi 2 what we can we can put we can put 1 by h2 del phi by del v so 1 by h2 del phi by del v e2 cap and last term is phi 3 e3 cap so phi 3 is this one i just substituted over here 1 by h3 del phi by del w e3 cap so this is our required expression of gradient of a scalar function phi which is the function of u v w in o c c s that is your orthogonal coordinate coordinate system so from this result we can note something some important notes here you can watch this uh, notes are are required very much essential for our uh, coming lectures here you can see suppose phi is only u here phi is the function of u v w now we are going to consider phi is only u only u that means uh, it, is, it, is, it is function of only one curve suppose so del phi will be how much del u okay if del phi equal to del u that implies so so hence we can we can get del phi equal to del u equal to this term only because as phi is equal to u only so obviously del phi by del v will be zero del phi by del w equal to zero you got my point see phi is equal to phi u that means only the function of u so here del phi that means del phi is nothing but del u will be equal to this term only because del phi by del v or you can consider del u by del v del v del u by del w both are will be zero so this term this term will be cancelled out so we can get del phi equal to del u will be equal to this much term that means 1 by h1 del phi by del u into e1 cap right So here if phi equal to u, if phi equal to u, then del u by del u equal to 1. So we can get e1 cap by h1, right? Likewise, if phi equal to v, then del phi equal to del v will be equal to only this term, not this term, not this term. These two terms will be cancelled out. So 1 by h2 del phi by del v e2 cap here phi is nothing but v. So del v by del v will be 1. So we can get e2 cap by h2. Likewise, when phi equal to w, we can get uh, del phi or del w will be e3 cap by h3. So these three uh, important notes will be required in our uh, next classes. So this is our the uh, expression of the gradient of a scalar function in OCCS. So thank you so much for watching this video. In our next class, we are going to discuss divergence in terms terms of uh, OCCS that, that means divergence of a vector function in terms of orthogonal coordinate coordinate system so thank you so much for watching this video i suggest write down the note carefully and ready for the next class